Hi, catch me with Mr. Nikola Baratsky, CEO of Momla, discussing all about 1858 IC collection. From pins to serious watchmaking. And today, the game changer being the iced tea, if I may say so, instead of IC. Oh, I so see that you've been, well, yeah. you've been well uh, trained. <laughs> what is the story of iced tea uh, and IC, the success story behind it? You know, when we started to work on that project, uh, it all started by we want to do a diving watch. And I didn't want to do a diving watch just to do a diving watch like any other brand because why a diving watch at Mont Blanc? Mm -hmm. And then we started to think, but what is Mont Blanc about? Mountain, glacier. And, um, and I had always a dream was to dive under a glacier, which I've never done, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and we thought, okay, let's do a watch, a diving watch that is linked to our history and our heritage, which is glacier and mountain. And that's how the whole idea started. So, if for the audience in India or globally, who this Mobla customer would be? If you would explain, is it a young person who is uh, who loves a sporty watch, would love to have IC? Who this customer would be? When you are at Mont Blanc, because we are a maison with uh, many categories and because we are quite uh, a large audience, uh, we realize that first we come with a story. Okay. Then we come with expertise, with a real uh, diving watch, with the, the most complicated, you know, technology to make it uh, ISO certified. And at the end, we have offered a, a very large palette of colors. Mm -hmm. And when I see at the end of the day, who, who were the um, who are the customers today, as we launched last year, uh, in our own boutique. The younger customer is seven years old. Seven, seven years, years old. And it's a true story. Seven years old. And the oldest one that we know of was eight years old. We have seen male and female. We have seen a, a success across uh, uh, geography, be it in Asia, in India, in America, or in Europe. So can I tell you who? is behind that watch as a customer no i can't i think you have people that love these true stories people that understand uh, the spirit of the outdoor and nature and um, and who enjoy uh, uh, true watchmaking so eventually and i think on this kind of watch it's everyone actually and, uh, and that's the good thing you know and that's because it's a mont blanc story because you have this dial this uh, uh this, yes. this glacier dial uh, is the highlight of the watch. And this technique is unique. And would it continue? Or? Now, this technique is unique. It's more than that. I think it's in the watch industry, it always starts with a challenge. Yes. And, and when we said we want, we have a true story, if we have a true story, the dial must reflect the reality of a glacier. Correct. So we started to design the, the, the dial and then we went to see many suppliers and they all said, no, it's impossible to have this kind of dial. You have to cut too much. Uh, there, there's too much complexity. Yes, because... And the, the, the layer is too thin. Yes, layer is too you, thin. You can't yes. make it happen. Correct. And then we found a supplier who is a very traditional and recreated the old traditional way of doing uh, uh, dials. Sorry for the technical word, which is called the gratte Yes. And, and, that, and that old way of doing dials uh, is very interesting because it allows you really to remove very, very thin parts of the, of, 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 the, of the base and create this effect of a glacier. And you have more than 30 steps to create the, the dial. So it takes a long time. And it's, it's true hand, watchmaking. It's true watchmaking. So. It's very uh, eco-friendly, if I may say, on top of it, because it's really natural uh, uh, elements, no chemicals, no... So very interesting also on how it's being built and, um, and the outcome you feel like you are diving into a glacier. And truly, therefore, it is called as a game changer. I think so. I think it's, um, it's a game changer on the entry level of what shows up on you. you know? And that's what I like as well, is this level of finishing and this level of uh, integration that gives from here 
to uh, geosphere zero oxygen or to the beautiful uh, Minerva expertise uh, as a movement in the in our uh, Villeray watches. And for digital world that we all are living in today, do you see Montblanc getting into the digital world in some format as it is the watch industry watches are concerned? Of course, I think. We have different pillars. As I said, we are a global luxury vessel, mm -hmm. and you rightfully uh, said that we started with writing, we, uh, we went to leather, yes. and then uh, to watches. watches. Yes. And at the end of the day, it's a kind of the outfit of, uh, of our customer. You go for a trip, you take your trolley, you have your backpack on top of your trolley, mm -hmm. you're wearing your watch, and you're having, of course, your writing instrument. I'm sure you're going to sign a nice contract on your, on your trip. And at the end of the day, we are also living in a digital world, and there is no opposition between analog and digital. Correct. And you may want to go and play golf uh, during your trip uh, and use your smartwatch, for example, and, uh, and and so that you can follow the ball and uh, how far you are from the green. Or so I think it's it's about functionality, mm -hmm. and and there there are a lot of digital functionalities today as well, and that can be still a luxury experience, whatever way you approach today, the analog or the digital world. And where does India stand today? India has also come long way with Mont Blanc. So, where does India stand? As you remember, I'm sure, uh, Mont Blanc was the first ever luxury maison to officially Absolutely. enter the Absolutely. Indian market 20, more than 25 years 1996. ago. 1996. 27 years ago. Yes. <laughs> and, um, and since then, I think what we applied in India, because it was the very first territory for us, we applied the same recipe in many other markets and with the same success, which was not just going to one or two cities, but going close to where the customers are. So not just going to Mumbai or to Delhi, but going to Hyderabad, going to Pune, going to Bangalore. Wow, going, you know, you know and, so much about India. Well, I've very, come quite a few times to yeah, India. Very nice, very nice. Go on. And, 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 and I think it's why people know so much um, our, our brand is because We've been close to them, and um, and I know that in India, writing instrument was the very first uh, piece that our Indian customers uh, would love to wear. But we see really a nice extension today, and especially with these uh, collections. So, Nikola, this year with the collection that you bring on the table, which is your favorite one? Is the ice tea or ice sea, or is it the Minerva? When I had that question, I can never answer, but for a good reason. As I said, we are in three very clear segments. In that, in the entry segment, the IC, no doubt. My big, my big difficulty with IC is that last year, I saw the blue and I said, wow, I love the blue and I, and I took it. And then I said, but the black, in fact, is very interesting. And at the end, I ended up wearing the green. And now I want to wear the grey, so which is why we created well, this year. Well, you have the luxury of choosing. Yeah, but this year what we did something very interesting. We created a beautiful box. Okay. And in that box, you have three IC. Okay. The green, the blue, and the grey with a very specific uh, uh, case back that represent different parts of the Mont Blanc. Uh, so a customer can buy three at a time. It's it's and it's a set of three. Okay. Limited edition. Very limited, 191 pieces. And sold only via boutique, is it? Or Will be sold only via boutique. Okay. And, 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 a, and a very fun story, 191 pieces. Yes. Three watches, which makes 1913. Yes. 1913 was the day, the year, when we started with our snow cap, with the emblem of Mont Blanc. Okay. And 1913 is the height of the IC in Chamonix, where you have the Mont Blanc Glacier. So we go very much in detail when it comes to uh, storytelling. That's, that's for my first one. Well, 1858 IC is on my wish list and I hope it is also on yours. But wait, there are two more novelties that we need to discover and you can catch all about these two novelties unveiled at Watches and Wonders in my exclusive interview with Nicola Baratsky in part two. Stay tuned.